<laughs> hey, what's going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to show you all how you can easily play PlayStation 2 games in ISO format on your jailbroken PS3. Now, I also want to give a huge shout out to a gentleman from my Discord server, and if you're interested in joining the conversation in Discord, I'll have a link down below in the description where you can join the server, but his name is Woody. He actually ended up getting PlayStation 2 ISOs working and running on his jailbroken PS3, and I had asked where he was figuring this out because I had tried it prior and was having some difficulty with it, but he wrote up a really short, sweet, and concise guide on how to do it, which enabled me to do it so I can teach you all here how to get this going. So again, huge shout out and thank you to him because he definitely made the process a lot easier. So first off, you will of course need a jailbroken PlayStation 3 system. If it's jailbroken, it has to be running Rebug firmware. Yes, there might be other firmwares out there that allow you to play PlayStation 2 games, but I'm going to be doing this over Rebug. So if you have Rebug, you can follow along. If you don't have it, I recommend updating to it because it's a pretty solid custom firmware. Next up, we're also going to need a few methods of transferring over for our games and the games I'm not going to show you how you can rip them over and all that fun stuff that should be easy enough to do you can pop your DVD in if you want to uh, and rip it through image burn in ISO format but we can transfer it over either using our network through FTP or we can use a FAT32 formatted flash drive so first off with the flash drive I'll show you you just want to right click format of course back up anything you have that you care about press start and make sure it's in FAT32 format now once that's completed, go into your flash drive, right click create new folder and call it PS2 ISO, all one word, all uppercase, enter it and you want to grab your ISO, copy and paste it into here. Now one thing you definitely need to know is that this only works for games that are 4 gigabytes in size or under if you're doing the USB method. If you have a game that is bigger than 4 gigabytes, we're going to be transferring it over via FTP and it has to go on your PS3 system. So that's another thing to keep in mind. If you have a small hard drive, you might want to think about upgrading it and you might want to reconsider because you have to run these games on your internal hard drive. Now on the root of my flash drive, I'm also going to grab the latest latest copy of Multiman and paste it on here so we can install that. Uh, this is a piece of homebrew that I recommend everybody uses, but I'm going to have it linked down below just in case you don't have it for whatever reason. So there, our flash drive is done. I can go ahead, come out here and eject it. Now you might be wondering, hold on, what if the game is bigger than four gigabytes in size? How do I transfer that over my network? Well, we're going to have to partially go to the PlayStation 3 for that and set it up through FTP. So we'll go ahead and go onto the system and I'll show you all how you can FTP to your PlayStation 3 if you have not done so before. So right here I'm on my PlayStation 3. This is running Rebug firmware and I have not installed anything on here yet. I just formatted the system. It has nothing on here. So what you want to do first off is go over to Package Manager, install package files. I'm just going to do a standard install right here and grab Multiman and let it install. Next thing you want to do is launch Multiman for the first time if you have never done this before, except everything right here. I would also suggest going over to your settings, theme audio, and disable this right here so nothing is playing. But once that's done, you can scroll all the way up here, go to your system information, and right there is your IP address. So what you want to do is take that and go back over to your computer and we're going to transfer a game over to the hard drive. Now with Multiman still open in the background, what you can do is download a program like FileZilla, which I will have linked down below in the description and in the IP address or host area here, type in the IP. So mine is 192.168.1.152 hit quick connect and you're going to want to look for dev hdd 0 go down and find ps2 iso and here you just want to grab your iso for whatever game you want to transfer over and get that transferred wait a few minutes for that to finish i'm using grand theft auto 3 here because that is my favorite game and it is also more than four gigabytes in size so it is a excellent example for this so right now i just finished transferring over grand theft auto 3 using ftp now what if you're using a flash drive well of course make sure your flash drive is plugged into your system go all the way over to retro and you're going to find your game right here. You can go ahead and press X to say load game ROM, and it will say, do you want to transfer the file to the internal hard drive? 
you have to say yes and then just let it do its thing and transfer over. Now, once you have your game copied over, it's going to automatically X out of Multiman and check this out. It's going to say there is a PS2 format disc in here, but don't get super excited yet because we still have to take a few extra steps to get this working. First of all, come up here to Package Manager, go to Install Package Files, PlayStation 3 System Storage, and find Rebug Toolbox. Press X on here and let it install Rebug. Once that's done, go down and open up Rebug Toolbox. Once this is open, you're going to have to go over to Selector, pick the system mode and set it to Rebug. It's probably going to ask you to quit out or anything else, so what you should do is come over here to quit. If it restarts your PS3, let it do its thing. Once that's done, go into Rebug Toolbox once again. Go over to Selector and you want to come down and for Toggle PS2 Emulator, make sure it's set to Cobra. Make sure Cobra Mode is enabled, and also make sure Webman is enabled. Once all that is set up, go over to Quit and let it restart again. So now to actually load up your games, you're going to want to go over to Load Games with Webman, and you could either restart your system, or you can just do this whenever you add a new game. Go to Setup Webman Options. It's going to bring this up here. And what I'd recommend whenever you install a new game, go to XML, wait for that to finish, and then go to HTML. Wait for that to finish, as you can see our games show up right there. And then if you want to, you can restart your system again if they're not showing up. That's kind of one thing to keep in mind. If the games aren't showing up, just restart your system and normally it should be okay. But once you're done with everything, you want to come into here, go down to PlayStation 2. And as you can see, I have my games right here. So I'm going to pick Grand Theft Auto 3. So just pick your game, press X. As you can see, everything has mounted up, so I'm going to close the web browser, then come down to PlayStation 2 Format Disk, and press X. If you've never played a PS2 game on here, you are going to have to set up a memory card, so press yes, press OK. It's going to bring us to the memory card utility, create a new PlayStation 2 memory card. That's all well and good. And now everything is done there, so we can actually load up the game. And after a few seconds, the game should boot up. So as you can see, it's loading in everything. I'm going to bring up this menu here so you all can see that uh, this is indeed on the PlayStation 3. It's bringing up all this other fun stuff. I can exit out of here. And as you can see, wait a few seconds, we are now in game. So this is the actual engine that's loading everything up. So perfect, at this point you should be good to go. So perfect, at this point you should be good to go. As you can see, I'm able to play the game pretty normally here. Again, I can bring this up, change my controller settings, do really whatever I want to on this, but that's all you need to do to play your PS2 games. Yeah, there are a few extra steps on here, but aside from that, really most of the stuff you just have to do one time. You just have to get your settings dialed in, you just have to make sure that you can drive properly if you're driving and talking at the same time, and then installing the games is just going to be easy as that. If you ever have any issues with games not loading up, just refresh your XML and HTML through Webman. If they're still not loading up, double check everything, but also try restarting your console. But that is about it. So so hopefully this helped you all out. If you enjoyed this video, a like would very much be appreciated. And if you absolutely hate it, a dislike is fine as well too. But but hey man, come on, show some love for the PS2. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching everyone. Uh, I'm going to run into my safe house here. <laughs>